do I have a choice? I'll be right back. <laughs> Great boy. <laughs> For a semester, come on. It's minuscule. Our apartment was bigger than that. Oh, look at it. Is it rusting? These must be the neighbors. Hi there. Oh, hi. You must be the McAllisters. I'm Harriet Ayler. This here's Billy. How you doing, Miss McAllister? Uh, we're having tea here. I can get a couple of glasses because I have to get your keys. You're right next door to us. Well, it's a pity she's feeling poorly. But I can sure understand her wanting to check out her new home. Yeah, the Conroys are mighty proud of their little house next door. Yeah, get yourself a fishing license. You can go fishing right from the property. Billy caught a catfish two summers ago. You, you can't believe it. You ought to go get the yeah, catfish Yeah, the, the big old catfish pictures. I'll be right back. It's something else. It really is. Have you seen this place? Oh, come on, it's not that bad. We oh. just moved in. Do you think they really think this is decor? <laughs> oh. Disposing of all the evidence. <laughs> okay, everybody, here they come. And remember, she was a big time something or other in New York. She's a performance artist. What in the name of God Almighty is a performance artist? A stripper. <laughs> Shoot, hush up. Hello, come in. Welcome to my home. Thank you very much. I'd like for you to meet some people over here. Oh, okay. This is Evan McAllister. Hello. 
Oh, it's good to meet you. And his wife, Corey. Uh, Corey Pruitt. Uh, so you're new in the English department? Uh, yes, sir. I'm looking forward to English uh, You must be brilliant to get that kind of a deal here. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, between the two of us, I would say that Corey here is the brilliant one. I mean, all the while I was in grad school in New York, she was sustaining me financially with her, her work. So. Well, I can certainly see what he sees in you, dear. We're actually um, looking for a studio space uh, right now, if you know of any. Um, something that we can maybe continue yeah, we'll with. We'll we'll continue with that. So Great. Oh, just something that... Uh, Hi there. Near you're a performance artist or something like that? Uh, well, I, I had a show before we moved, but... Sounds rather interesting. What did it entail? Well, it's my interpretation of the oppression of women throughout history. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Look, you're really good at it, too, huh? Well, some people think so. Yeah. Excuse me. That's right, everybody. Don't go outside. We nuked it this morning, but for some reason, it just didn't work. She's talking about fire ants. They're my special. <laughs> I met the little fuckers. They say that a lot, Brad. Um, well, this is really fantastic. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You had jalapeno jelly, a Texas delicacy. It's my specialty. I grow the peppers myself <laughs> and seed them. Texas has a delicacy. Excuse me. Did you mean that you were stung when you said you met the uh, ants here somewhere in town? Uh, well, it was right after we crossed into Texas. Some of the bite stuff seemed to want to go away. You're an expert on them, aren't you, on fire ants? I think we need to go, Evan. Looks like those new folks forgot their jelly as well as their manners. Well, they are Yankees, don't forget. Actually, I think he's from here. You're right, he is from here. Well, that's why I seemed all right. She's the one who's so uppity. Uh, I'm in Holland. Olivia Sanchez. They stuck me on the top floor in Brody. Oh, well, you must work with, um, oh, what's his name? Hamilton something? Locke. Hamilton Locke. You know what? I don't much like him either. <laughs> <laughs> so
so I was thinking seriously that the very next thing I write about would be about fire ants. You know, 101 uses for a dead fire ant. <laughs> like the dead, dead cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on that very thing myself right now. Dead fire ants? Yeah. <laughs> dead fire ants. <laughs> I'm so full, I always eat too much when I come here. Yeah, it's good food. It's really good. Well, I'm going to have to look you up and have you help me out with that book. Oh, right. Yeah, the uh, fire ant book. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be coming to you for advice. Oh. I'm a fire ant specialist. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh. Hey! That's Corey, my wife. a secret about my wife. She doesn't much like that lock character either. I could, but, um, oh. you know. Okay, come on. It's just downright unfriendly. Don't go to you. I don't care if you hear me. Thank God. Evan, I'm still not pregnant. It's no big deal. It'll happen. But what if it doesn't happen? <laughs> it will. Mit my sperm, we will rule the world. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh-uh. Right there. That big one. I think you're seeing things. They look exactly the same as before. Sorry, Liv. Just the big boy I need. Mm-hmm. Honey! Yeah? Where'd this jam come from? What jam? I don't know, just found it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Ugh. Is this some student's idea of a joke? What is that? It's a pile of dead fire ants. In our refrigerator. At least we know how to kill them.
What did you do with them? I gave them decent Christian burials, Corey. What do you think I did for them? I threw them in the fucking trash. Well, how did you pick them up? With my hands. Oh. That's disgusting. It's not like we have a proper ant scoop, you know? I mean, I guess you can order one from the Tiffany Cadillac. All right, okay. <sighs> There's just so many of them. They look like coffee grounds. Well, the important thing is that they were dead ants. But why would they go in there? How would they get in there? Someone told me that they're drawn to electrical stuff. Who? Was it that lock guy? Have you seen him? No, I have not run into that lock guy. All right. And what if I had? What would it matter? And all he did was ask you about those bites and you completely <laughs> freaked. That was like two months ago. Do we really have to talk about it again? girl from the restaurant you saw me talking to? That's who told me. She's a fire ant researcher. That scraggly looking girl? In the white lab coat? Oh, not another one. This makes three. But isn't he... Yes, married. But so what? I'm not exactly sending him love letters. Yes, you are. Deep down, you are. I am following up on a joke, that's all. 101 uses for a dead fire ant. You're deluding yourself. That's what you're doing. Make up your mind. A week ago, you thought I should dress up like a hooker and be out meeting men. Today, I'm just well, writing to a I guy. I didn't mean you should meet someone else's man. I don't deserve a remark like that. You're right. I'm sorry. I worry about you. I mean, one day, your little miss leave me alone, and the next... The sultry scum. Scarlet woman. <laughs> Olé! Oh. <laughs> A major scientific discovery, Miss Sanchez. Invicta, ladies and gentlemen, the red imported fire ant, flesh eater, stripper of carcasses, perhaps even the instrument of death. And what a painful death it would be. Fire ants often arrive at the scene of an accident even before the emergency vehicles do. Next slide, please, Miss Gretzner. They swarm the victim in droves. They lap at the blood, ounce by ounce, until it is gone. They fill every moist orifice, the mouth, the ear, the eye. Oh, yes. The fire ant loves ah. Stop! I don't know about the rest of you. But I have no desire whatsoever to see fire ants swarming an accident victim. No desire whatsoever. I came here for an academic discussion, not this Halloween extravaganza. You tell me, Grandma. Oh my God. Why hasn't Dr. Locke rid us of the fire ants? Why hasn't he controlled them? Why? All the money pouring into this school for. <laughs> For research, I can show myself out, thank you. Think about it. Think about that. You know, think about it. <laughs> to continue. Dr. Locke! Dr. Locke! 
there's so much more I need to tell you. Uh, I have I, materials. I bet you do. Uh, but there's more. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll talk, all okay. right? Come on. I have at my home some materials on the fire. Have you? That you didn't hear me out this morning. That's true. I, I was having a lecture. But I am interested in your materials. Have a seat. <laughs> it really stinks, Cor. You should smell it from here. Why are we doing it anyway? Evan, we are not doing it. I... I'm doing it. Watch your step, be careful. Don't drop your candy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Look at you. We thought if we came to this neighborhood, we'd get a better haul. <laughs> oh, and you were right, huh? Look at all this candy. <laughs> oh, uh, hun, this is uh, Olivia Sanchez. Olivia Sanchez. Sanchez. Yeah. <laughs> and who are these little devils, huh? The Beelzebub. Oh, mm. oh very good. Beelzebub. Beelzebub, too. <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> And how about this one? No. Oh. No. Well, you know what? I bet I know who this little devil is, huh? This little devil is Hamilton Locke, huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, and you're quite an angel. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it really suits you. Uh, well, I guess we'll just uh, fly away now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Thank you. Away, away, for I will fly to thee. Not chanted by Bacchus and his cards, but on, on the Venus wings of poesy. Hey, Marnie, it's me. Give me a call as soon as you get this. I just met Evan's wife. You acted like a bitch? 
And you pretty much always act like a bitch these days. Well, maybe it's all these hormones you have me taking. Oh, so you want to have a baby so bad. I want to have a baby. I thought we wanted to have a baby. It's useless. Uh, is that it, sweetheart? Is, is it because we haven't been able to get pregnant? Because if so, listen, we've got plenty of time. There's plenty of stuff that we can do. I mean, you're just taking things too hard. No! That is not why it is. It's because I'm fucking here. It's because I'm in Deliverance, Texas, with a bunch of yahoos. You know, Evan, we used to have a life. We used to have friends and, and conversations and, and dinner parties and, and... And fun, Corey. We had fun. What happened to that? Stayed in Manhattan. Taking a shower. Permit is ready. Permit, correct? That's right. Okay, and that's an ointment and a birth control? Correct? That's right, thanks. So this is where the magic happens, huh? Hello. <laughs> Hey, listen, about that Halloween thing, I just wanted to... Oh, no, this. don't worry about it. We all have our bad days. <laughs> and my brother's kids were thrilled with how much candy you gave them. Oh, great. Well, they were really sweet. Do you want to sit down? Oh, yeah. Actually, um, I wanted to talk to you about fire ants. See, my wife, Corey, uh, the weird thing is the bites, they, uh, they healed up, and then they came back, and they were, they were worse. They were... Pustules. Red with white heads, like yeah. big pimples. Right. Yeah, she's allergic to the venom. It's not that uncommon. Did you see the ants that stung her? Uh, briefly. I mean, she was brushing at them, so... How many? Oh, I don't know, 10, 20, maybe. They were really big. Big? Well, I mean, I, they look big to me, I uh. guess. It was just a, right, right when we crossed, crossed the Texas you state line. Would you show me on the map? Sure. See, you're right around there. Hmm. Dr. Locke was doing some research up that way. Should we talk to him about it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Has she seen a doctor? Oh, uh, she got some kind of ointment. Hmm. You know, I've seen stings that swell to the size of a grapefruit, but that's extreme. <laughs> well, <laughs> Corey's bites were grape size, maybe, no bigger. Here, check this out. This is what a fire ant does. It grabs the skin with its pinchers, and then it rotates, and it stings in a circle. Oh, shit. They even have a wing stage. That's how the queens fly away to make their new nests. They really get around, these ants. We've noticed that queens are getting larger, and that now some islands have multiple queens, which is very strange. It used to be that if you killed the queen, all the other ants in the mound would die, but that's not happening anymore. And nobody really seems to know why that happened or how. It's odd. Yeah. And listen to this. Toxin from the average bite usually dissipates in four to six days on the normal victims. But for Are you going to do this all night? Well, no, look, listen, this is really interesting. The red imported fire ant, and listen to this name, the scientific name, Solipnosis Invicta. Invicta, it probably means invincible. I thought we were trying to have a baby. Well, apparently. 
apparently we're trying too hard. See, a, a guy I, I talked to at the department, he said that the goal is to not try to have a baby. He said, what? Evan, are you are you saying that you talked to some stranger in the department no, about our, our, about not our some, personal Not some life? stranger, a guy I work with. I see him pretty much every other day. I can't believe this. What? Can't believe what? I, what, I can't talk to anyone anymore? I mean, can I not talk at all? Evan, this is really personal. What? You know how I feel about it. Yeah, I can pretty much guess how you're going to feel about any and everything these days. Oh, fuck it, Evan. I'm going to sleep. Nursing and rehab that's getting ready to open here at the end of June. <laughs> Did you see that leather miniskirt? She thought I was going to wear that in the lab or something. I cannot believe that. That's so funny. It was so tacky. Is that Evan? <gasps> Jeez, yeah. Evan! Hi. I just wanted to give you a, a little present I got you. <laughs> it's no big deal. You can just open it later. It's a surprise. You gave him that shirt. Oh, he looked like you needed something. Oh, he needs something, all right. He needs to leave that Cruella de Vil. Stop that. <laughs> You only know what I told you, and I could have misread the whole situation. Oh, yeah, right. Hmm. Liv, why him of all people? Oh, okay. I'll mind my business. No, it's okay. But I don't know the answer. I just know that I had kind of closed myself off, and I was happy that way. I don't know. Whenever I think about him or when I'm with him, I just... Goosh. Yeah. <laughs> no, more like goosh. <laughs> you know what I think, really? It's a curse saying I'd get that paper in Mexico. No, just remember they contacted you, not vice versa. Still, Locke will shit if he finds out. <sighs> you know what? We should shop. Ten to one, you don't have any sexy underwear. <laughs> just what I need to get my paper to a room full of scientists. <laughs> <laughs> well, for two weeks, we'll go to Mexico and we'll find ourselves two handsome caballeros. And you're not going to think about Evan. You won't talk about him. You're not going to look out windows to try to get a glimpse of him. I swear I will think only about fire ants. Mm. And caballeros. <laughs> and caballeros. Ole! <laughs> <laughs> Did something happen? Yes! Yes, something happened! Something that would never happen in New York! Corey, get up. Corey! Jesus. 
We're going to the hospital. Stop fucking joke! No, Corey, that's... Look at you, we had to take you to the hospital! I had to, sure, you did this in the You looked at yourself in a mirror, yeah. I'm gonna get you some food. Could you uh, describe uh, Miss Pruitt, your wife, right? 
Could you describe Miss Pruitt's behavior when you last spoke to her? Listen, Evan's wife, she killed herself. Mark, sweetie, enough is enough. Sweetie, That's I'm not cool. joking. It happened while we were away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you've heard. Yes, it was unfortunate. She asphyxiated herself inside a refrigerator of all places. <laughs> you can imagine that. I don't, I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Belongs to some prof on sabbatical. I really shouldn't be here. I, I could. I shouldn't either. I ran into room, but I just keep coming back here. I don't know what, what to. I found Corey. She was... Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'll show you. Well, I don't... think what they think. Who? The cops. Some detective especially. Tried to tell me that Corey committed suicide. I told him it must have been ants. He was, she was just trying to get away from the ants, but he thought I was crazy. Because the one in the ants. Oh, they can swarm and then dissipate. I'm trying to tell the cops that. What is that? Do you mind if I look in there one more time? Hamilton Locke did this. I know he did. No, I know he did. 
And we have to find a way to prove it. Corey was unhappy. They were right about that. Things got pretty out of hand. These are ant eggs. You were right about the ants. You know, listen. One day, my colony was behaving kind of oddly. All the ants were gathered together in one corner. Locke had just been there. He just touched the corner of the tank with his hand, probably with some kind of substance he's working with. Now, he's a crazy guy, but this is way over the top. I know it sounds crazy, but at the time, I thought he must have developed some way to draw the ants, an attractant. Why would he want to do that? Everyone's trying to get rid of fire ants. Well, that's not all. These eggs, they're four times the size they're supposed to be. What happened to Corey was horrible. Evan, don't you want to get to the bottom of it? Let me help you. I have a lot of reasons for wanting to. And a big one is that I... I know. Hamilton Locke. And Corey hated him too. Like I said, it's mighty pretty land, but it's all infested now. County agents said there's nothing can be done about it. Hmm. Well, I'll take it off your hands. Good gentleman. <laughs> yes, I'll take it off your hands. He wasn't always the way he is now. He got weirder after his wife, uh, Constance, left him. Nobody remembers much about her except for one day she was here, and the next day she was gone. Ugh. Can you imagine being married to him? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe we can find her. Her name is Constance Honeycutt Locke. There's a Honeycutt Hall somewhere on campus. I bet she was one of those rich bitches. You know, like her father was some big donor or something. And Locke came along and swept her off her feet? <laughs> He does kind of remind me of that one movie star, um, uh, Vin Vincent Price. <laughs> you ever see his films? The Tingler. <laughs> the Fly. <laughs> Where'd you see those? Oh, well, there's this old movie house near campus called the UMAC. We'll have to go sometime. Yeah. Oh, hey, Evan. It's okay. It's okay to want to do stuff again. Go to movies. Sorry, uh, I oh, Constance, I owe it all to you. Love is not a love which alters when it alteration finds. Oh, no, it is an ever-fixed mark. So what's the problem? Call him. Olivia, you are on your way to becoming a world-class scholar with a job offer anybody would kill for? And you're whining because some guy hasn't called you in six whole days? Okay, hang up the phone and dial him, bitch. Had me do a bunch of this crap when I first started. 
busy work. It was just so boring. Oh, I can't remember any of the names, though. No, except for one. It was, um, oh, something odd. It was like, um, oh, Overbeak or something like that. What are you two doing down here? <laughs> Come on upstairs, you silly things. Almost everything is on computer now. We are modern. <laughs> I would have guessed. <laughs> Honeycutt, Constance, Cypress Subdivision. Oh, look at that. Honeycutt bought the property from Overbeak. I'll bet Honeycutt bought property from every name I looked up. Honeycutt, who was long gone, the runaway bride. Mm -hmm. Let's go find some of these places. Voila. No. I don't know. Oh my God! Your window. Jesus. You okay? Yeah. What are you thinking? I was thinking of a line from Shakespeare. Tell me later. It's gone. I don't care about the ants. <laughs> I thought that was beautiful. Hey, where you been? I've been trying to call you all night. Uh, I know what you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Is that locks? Mm-hmm. Olivia, you could get yourself kicked out of here. Lose that job in Mexico. Your whole career down the toilet. I just gotta find some kind of proof. Of what? Of murder. Do you know how crazy you sound? Yes. So what are you gonna do next? Break into his house? <laughs>
Ah, Miss Sanchez. I personally think it's a little early in the grieving process for a girlfriend. Nonetheless, you'd probably like to know that I have yours back in my home. <gasps> ah, love. You'll forgive the outmoded technology, but this was taken a few years ago when Constance Honeycutt Locke still graced this house with her presence. After a while, they all looked the same. Some writhing about, a few panic swipes at various parts of the body, a scream or two, and then... <laughs> thunk. They fall to the floor. Miss Pruitt was rather imaginative, using the fridge and all. Of course, it was I who gave her the idea. I guess this is some student's idea of a job. <laughs> the proof that you were so ardently looking for, Miss Sanchez. Oh, and that Solipnosis Invicta egg, the oversized one that you put into the incubator at the lab. Alas, there was a defect with the heating system and the egg crumbled into dust as a result. It, it disappeared, Miss Sanchez. Oh, oh, but first, let me get your cell phones. Well, let's get this show on the road! Hey, Liv, you were right. If these notes are accurate, he's breeding larger and larger fire ants with every hatch. Call me. Miss Sanchez, it seems you have a message. What is that? That noise? Stridulation. It's the sound that fire ants make. But usually you can't even hear it because it's such a small sound. Unless there are billions and billions of them. <laughs> you could see yourself from the heavens, as God does. You would see yourself as the center of a bullseye. You really must excuse me, but now I have to deal with your meddlesome friend. <laughs> What can we do? I wish I knew. Don't you wear glasses? I took them off. They're in my pocket. 
Well, maybe if I could get them out with my teeth, maybe. Here, lean over. Listen, Evan, they're on their way to the attachment, not to us. They'll probably pass right over us if whoa, we whoa, just whoa. Like... Over us? Over us? Like over our bodies? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Just focus your mind on one thing and don't let it wander. And what happens if we move? Don't think about it. Oh, yeah, sure. Here, try this. How would you describe my breasts? What? My breasts. How would you describe them in one word? What? Just one. You're crazy, lady. <laughs> Grab your breast as pert. <laughs> pert, that's good, right? <laughs> yeah, pert's great. Pert's terrific. <laughs> <sighs> I can't wait to tell Marnie. <laughs> you would dare search my belongings? <laughs> you would dare? I'll show you everything you ever wanted to see. And far more than you ever believed possible. <laughs> everything. Dr. Locke should have exerted some control over those nasty firings. Well, Dr. Locke did. Dr. Locke made them bigger and better and more obedient. Dr. Locke even made the fire and queens get along. That Dr. Locke, he's a regular Henry Kissinger. Now I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. No, that would be too simple, too quick, and you wouldn't get to see her. Yes, Miss Sanchez, a queen, 
the queen of all queens, a queen who's ready to fly and start a new colony of solipnosis invicta gigantica, the ant who will become known throughout the world as the lock ant. See, this isn't about some petty land acquisition scheme. This is about my ant and immortality! Homage must be paid for all these years of breeding, all these years of care. She will have her first thing. is such sweet sorrow. for help. Ugh. Looks like that stings. <laughs> See, he was breeding ants. Including a giant ant. And that's what killed him. He kept them in here. Whenever he wanted new land, he'd put this on the land. And then he used stridulation to excite them. Yeah, it really was brilliant. He could make them breed when he wanted them to. He could make them go where he wanted them to go. He should be on the cover of Time. Except for he's on the cover of Dead. <laughs> oh, come on, ladies. He was just another greedy bastard who used all this to buy land cheap, right? He was interested in real estate, not science. Mm. Could I please have the name of the deceased? Hamilton, Hamilton Locke. Locke. Do you know the victim's occupation? Entomologist. Entomologist. You're going to spell that right? <laughs> uh, Myrmecologist, actually. <laughs> he was a Myrmecologist. Hey. <sighs> I thought you'd never get out of there. I know. They kept asking me stuff. And then I kept telling them, and they'd repeat my answer back to me like I was crazy. Especially when I told him about how Locke had that first egg and destroyed it, and then I had another one, and... What's the matter? Um, it was just hard. I went back over all that stuff about Corey. Aww. Tell me that Shakespeare quote, you know, from that day. What day? <gasps> You know what day. She loved me for the dangers I had passed, and I loved her that she did pity them. It's from Othello. These are the perils of falling for someone in the English department. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think? I think that Locke's breeding program was absolutely brilliant. I mean, he was able I'm to... I'm not talking about Locke and his goddamn ants, right? I'm talking I about... I know what you're talking about. And... I don't know. 
I have a job offer in Mexico. I guess I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> well, there's something I didn't tell you. And what would that be? I too have an offer from a publisher <gasps> for a gag book entitled 101 Uses for a Dead Fire Ant. Get out! <laughs> no, it's true. And uh, so I'm portable. I mean, Mexico sounds like a great place to write the sequel. What will the sequel be about? Well, uh, I'm thinking cockroaches. Oh! You know, there's a really interesting species of cockroach in Veracruz. Veracruz? Your job is in Veracruz? <gasps> no. <laughs> but it would be well worth a side trip. These cockroaches are fascinating. They're carnivorous. Oh, can't wait for that one. <laughs> Flesh-eating cockroaches. <laughs> Send 